Yeah, I haven't practiced. Um, what I've been doing is trying to get my knee together, trying to get as much swelling as we can out, um, and that's going well. Um, Phil mentioned the other day that with these long TV games, it's an extra long halftime, so you do some sort of ritual to get activated at halftime. Can you describe what you go through? Um, no, I don't do you know, a ritual. Normally, I may, I may ride a bike or um, go out and shoot. That, that's that's really it. Okay, so it's nothing with like chip or no, nothing like that. Or... Um, I, we're doing some, you know, some ball squats. Nothing really out of the norm, though. Okay. Do, do you draw any comparisons to Game Three in Utah, where you guys were up two nothing going in, down at the half, but you made the big run? Is yeah, that kind we, of a philosophy? We, keep it close and strike at the end. No, um, I think with us, we're going to try to attack early there. You know, they're going to come out and be ready. This team goes right away. You don't want to get down when you're at Phoenix because the crowds are going to give them energy. Guys are going to be more comfortable, especially Fry and uh, shooting three pointers and stuff like that. So we need to be out there and uh, try to kind of get up early and then and then really just focus on closing out. Andrew, this, can, can this time off really benefit the knee at all, or is it just going to be what it is until you can get it worked on? After? Yep, that's you said it. It's going to be what it is. Is that how long did it, has it taken you just to accept that? I mean, because I, I would imagine the beginning. Uh, I accepted like, it from the beginning. You know, really? uh, they, they said that you, know, you could do the surgery now, but I was like, well, there's no, I, I don't know how long it's going to take to, to recover from it. You know, to get the strength back and then. Uh, that takes time. I've been through that, so I'd rather just go ahead and, and um, plus, you know, you keep making promises and then people get anxious. They want to know why you're not coming back early and all that, whatever. So I just avoid that, just play, and then get it taken care of when I have the time to uh, rehab it correctly. Can you offer an estimation of percentage-wise where, where you're at, out of 100? Um, I mean, I'm good enough, you know, to, to play. You know, I don't know the exact number, but uh, I'm good enough. Even if the minutes have been limited, I mean, how much has it meant that you've been just been able to get out on the floor in this past season? Huh? Even if the minutes have been limited lately, how much has it meant for you to just be able to get run out there? Oh, the man, season? I mean, a game like yesterday where I was able to contribute, not yesterday, a couple of days back, um, where I was able to contribute, it feels good, you know? And I think uh, teammates just appreciate the effort. Um, other than that, you know, for me personally, it's it's an opportunity to come out here and, and really you know, help help the team. I, I didn't get to do that in Boston um, a couple of years back, and I just didn't want to experience that again, which is why I chose to, you know, for go to surgery and, and just play. On a similar note, you, you hear you guys have won eight straight. There's this great confidence, but is, is that tough for you, knowing you don't feel your best? Uh, no, because it's not about me. It's about the team right now. And, um, you know, if the Lakers win championships, then Andrew Bynum is going to be okay. If the Lakers lose championships, then that's when things are going to be get messed up.